Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today, we're going to talk about the Tag Tool. Okay, before we dive in, just real briefly, this tool is introduced in SketchUp 2022. So if you're using an older version, 2021 or before, you won't find the Tag Tool. If this is somewhere off in the future where the tag tool's always been there, that's great. But just to let everybody know, this video is coming out right after 2022 is released. Uh, it's a brand new tool as of this recording, and you won't find it in previous versions. But those of you who are using 2022 or advanced, this is a look at everything that I can think to show you about the tag tool. Okay, so I have a bunch of things here on my screen. Uh, these are all components, and as I pick them, you can see if you watch over here, they're all named, they're all named components, but they're all have the tag untagged applied to them. This is where we're going to start with. So we want to put some tags on here. Now the tag tool is up here under tools. It's right here, tag. It's also on the large toolbar. So if you uh, if you go into view tool tool palettes on Mac, uh, toolbars on Windows, you can turn on the large tool set and it's right here uh, as well. So the icon for it is a little tag like you would see on uh, on an item you're gonna buy, I guess. Uh, the the important thing about this, this, this uh, tool, this tag cursor, is the picking point is the end of the little little string that's coming off the tag. So it's actually pointing down from above to what you're going to tag. So when I click, it's the end of that, that little, you can see right as I move onto the cylinder how the tooltip shows up. That's because the tip of that little line is crossing over into the geometry. So just a point, you're not going to try to get the body of the tag over it. It's all about where that little tiny tip is. All right, so the way that the tag tool works, what you're going to probably want to do when you're using the tag tool is have your tag window open. See, I have it open right over here uh, because the tag that is highlighted is the tag that we will be applied using the tool, not the active, not the little pencil. Pencil should stay on untagged, but highlighting a tag is just picking the name over here and it will, uh, I guess you can you change it by cl clicking on the dash type too, but clicking the name is just gonna move the blue highlight to that tag. That tag is now highlighted. That is the active tag for the tag command. So right now with spheres highlighted, if I go tap one of these, click there, that is now on the spheres tag. The tag sphere is now applied to that one, see that? spheres it is a sphere it is on the spheres tag this one right here didn't get tagged it's still on untagged so pretty easy spheres is turned on click 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 okay so all of my spheres now should be on the tag spheres so if i turn off spheres tag all my spheres go away i was successful i did it right all right let's go do another one let's let's quickly let's grab boxes and apply that tag to a box all right, so now let's say hypothetically, um, I'm out of here, I come back in and I'm like, okay, I wanna, I wanna apply some tags, but I want to uh, put these boxes into whatever tag this one is on. If you look at your modifiers down below, I have the option of hitting command, which will give me a little dropper tool. And if I pick on this, look what happens over here. Boxes just changed from, if the highlight change from untagged to boxes. Do that again real quick. If I just hit control, or I'm sorry, command, uh, that's command on Mac. Of course, that'll be different on Windows. But if I click on toggle sample tag, click on it. Oh, now boxes is it. So now I could just click through here and click to my boxes. With that, if I turn my boxes off, they go away, spheres go away. So that's awesome. We do have a shortcut though. So for something like this um, where I have a whole bunch. These are all components. They're all the same component. You can see that I'm applying them one at a time. So if I turn on cylinder and I click on this cylinder, if I turn cylinder off, okay, I know it's on that tag, but how do I do all of them? Well, I have an option down here, uh, which is toggle tag all instances. So if I hit the modifier key for that, so you get the little, little kind of component stack right there. If I tap on one of these, see how they all lit up there for a second? They are now all tagged with the cylinder tag. So if I want to try that, let's do that one more time. Let's let's uh, 
Well, I don't actually have, uh, let's change this tubes to pyramids, because that makes a lot more sense. And then I can come in here with my tag tool, hit one pyramid, they all light up. And with that, I'm using the, the visibility type toggle to show that everything had that tag applied to it. So this is much easier than how I would do it before I had the tag tool, which would be select one item or shift select multiple items, then come up here, change that to what I wanted. Not as a lot easier to just tap on things or hold a modifier key down and tap one instance of a component. So again, I'm gonna reiterate this. This is 2022 or above. SketchUp Pro. If you have a previous version, it's not going to be there. If you want to check it out, go grab it from SketchUp.com and try out 2022. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week, including one of these square ones, and you'll be notified of their release if you subscribe. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment down below. What do you think of the new tag tool? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.